The little one gonna come back out again? Yep. Alright, nothing resembling a mailbox. And the damn marshals again, man! guys so what i did because this is <laughs> this quest for whatever reason is really uh getting to me on this time i don't know i don't understand what's going on but i as you just heard we just replayed the uh the two tapes and i'm kind of start starting from the beginning right and what i found was because the one was for the slithering slide the other one was for uh, that mailbox sure enough somehow for some reason Yep, we knew that. Uh-oh. We need to take these guys out now. So somehow, for some reason, it, uh, it, I feel like it kind of, the quest kind of reset. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what happened. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it is, oh, there's a, there's some bad, there's some bad stuff down there. Let's go ahead and grab that Molotov. See if we can't get that down there. And we had another a frag. See, thankfully they're not going to be able to come up here. <laughs> uh, here we go. Well, we got the one behind them, and there we are. Is that thing that thing that Meyer lurk is not dead? Let's clear this bad boy out. Which he seems to be having his own issues right now. Yeah, so as I was saying, I actually do not think the first time, actually I'm pretty positive now the first time, we did not get the bracelet. I did come up here at the beginning when we came into the park, but there was not a bracelet here at that point. Um, so I don't know if that caused something. And then we're going to head back to that mailbox near the croc and see if what we need for the post office box is there i'm thinking it's going to be let's go ahead and loot these guys here real quick anything else anything else nope nope so honest i honestly do not know i it, it, like i said it kind of feels like it reset i don't know if i did something wrong by not grabbing the bracelet the first time uh because you saw a couple episodes ago we did get the post office box key and the letter to the media but for whatever reason that's gone we had to re we had to reacquire it which is why that last episode was such a mess and sure enough it was a mess but hey we get to, we get we got to spend more time all right here's the croc colossus let's see if this stuff is still in here yes it is see so whatever for whatever reason All right, let's, uh, this key lets you open my box with all the evidence you need. Uh, I send it to you because the truth has got to come out. You're Appalachia's most trusted news source, and people will listen if you do an investigation. Grafton Steel has been violating safety standards and getting people killed with the toxic sludge they're dumping into the water. They, should not, they shouldn't get away with this just because they're doing military work for the war, the little kids. So that I'm assuming that's going to go on saying little kids are dying because that's what we have learned so far. Now, the one thing that is kind of, um, I don't want to say bizarre, but one of, and maybe it's just to be thrown off, is when we, so we heard the, uh, the portions of the hollow tapes at the beginning of this episode. And it, it does make it seem like some random guy took Freddy. Um, but based on that, because Freddie never mentions, hey, uncle, hey, uncle, you know, uncle Otis, whatever, um, or Otis or him even noted, knowing who Otis is. Uh, but it does seem like Otis is the one who took Freddie. 
which is kind of odd that you would of the way that that uh, that recording went down. But oh well, I have a feeling it's just being nitpicky. We're not going to worry about that too much, and we are going to continue back to. <laughs> Well, we have to, well, we have to go to Clarksburg to go to the P.O. box. And then I wonder if we're going to have to go back to Grafton and um, search Otis's house. Good news there. At least we know where it is, and it is on the outskirts. So we could probably avoid all of the super mutants and the, uh, and the robots. But there's going to be robots here in Clarksburg again. And look at this weather. Whoa. I don't know what happened with the sound there. <laughs> it was here and then it was gone. All right, let's get back to Clarksburg in the post office. All right, guys, made it back to the post office. I kind of cleaned out this area a little bit, but as you can hear, there's I believe that that one is upstairs. So let's open this up, see what we get once again. There we go. Confidential safety data and important memo. Now, I remember when I opened this last time, I did not, and I remember, maybe it's because we're in a hail of fire, I did not remember actually receiving anything. So maybe there was something kind of messed up here also. Uh, Mr. Wood, as requested, here are the safety numbers for the past quarter. I made the adjustments you recommended in the revised list. These numbers are much better. First quarter, 2077, deaths 31, dismemberment 12, sickness 123, uh, revised, deaths 2, dismemberment 6, and sickness confirmed. 13. All right, so they're juking the stats. Important memo. Uh, Grafton Steel Memorandum. I'm pleased to announce that Grafton Steel... You know what? Let's let's take that and get out of here. <laughs> it's bothering me hearing those noises. Let's get out of here. Up here where we know it is safe. Well, at least I believe it's safe. I don't know if I know. Oh, well, I didn't get to, I didn't get to pick you. All right. It's quiet. It's quiet. Let's take some refuge back here. Let's, let's read that, that second note we just got. So that was, um, conf no, not the safety data. It was important memo. All right, I'm pleased to announce that Grafton Steel has officially been named a government-preferred war contractor. Our efforts, your efforts, will defeat the commies. With this news comes some exciting changes. Effective immediately, all shifts will begin working a 6-day, 72-hour six schedule to make our production quota. Remember, with your 12-hour shifts, you will get a half an hour for lunch at your workstation and three 15-minute breaks. Ugh. Under the Wartime Workers Act, you will be given time and a half pay for the 11th and 12th hour of each day. So there's some extra money coming your way. Hurrah. Kind of a little skeptical if that money ever made it there. Uh, sick time is no longer paid. A doctor's note is required for any absence. Support the war effort at Grafton Steel. Stacy Tibbetts, HR manager. All right. So, yeah, we know all that's going on. Now let's take a look at research the key. Use a tinker's bench to fix the kids secure. Research the key. What is going... See, we did not... We did not get any of this the first time through. So, I think something might have glitched that first time. Let's get up to our... Let's get up to our uh, survival tent. Make sure we're safe. I really wish there was an option to turn those off. Oh my, look at all that. It's a good thing we did not come that direction. And what do we got over here? And, oh, maybe this is not safe. Let's get a little more distance. Maybe this is not safe because that rat scorpion can come up from anywhere. All right. This might be kind of safe. All right. So it said research the key. Let's take a look. Are we able to look at Clarksburg? There we go. Uh, inspect. Is this what they want us to do?
Not sure what we are, might be seeing here other than that's a quantum bottle. At least it looks like it's quantum. Um, let's get back. Cold case. Yeah, research the key. What does that mean? And I have no idea where a tinker's bench is. So we are going to research the key in Clarksburg. I have to go back into Clarksburg. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is this going to tell me where a tinker's bench is? Oh, was there a tinker's bench at the railroad station? Or was that, there was a little shack over here also. Could there have been one at that shack? Well, it's not telling me, but research the key. Oh, damn it, man. This, <laughs> this mission is killing me right now. I've never struggled so much with a quest within Fallout. Let's hop right back in here at this computer. Uh-oh. Identify yourself. No, I think he's upstairs. I think we're good. See, that's just searching and we already know. Area secure. Otis Pike, 316 West Wilford. We already know. Oh, okay. So we are going to have to go back to Otis's house. Why was that considered searching the key? That seems a little odd to me. All right, let's go back to Otis's house. Um, there also was, you know what? I think there's a bench in these mobile homes back here, these RVs. Any chance? Like back here. Any chance one of these might have been a tinker's bench? If not, I'm hoping the post office had one. Because they have to put one close by, right? Oh, maybe, maybe these do not. I thought for sure one of these had a bench in it. All right, back at Otis's finally, and we are going to have to pick up these. So we have uh, the Notice of Termination, uh, which we read. We, we uh, you know, I'll do this real quick again as a, uh, as a recap. We did read this a couple episodes ago, uh, but I'll just kind of skim through it, I guess. Uh, it serves as formal confirmation of um, uh, termination. So basically what's going on here was... Drawn into this ridiculous propaganda as a law-abiding government contractor, Grafton Steel abides by our commitment to meet or exceed standards. All right, so um, Otis was starting to talk, and he got terminated. This was a um, Camp Tomahawk postcard from Freddy to Uncle Otis. So that lets you know that they are um, nephew and uncle, although down here... What we learned from the, the terminal, let's go ahead and jump in here real quick. So we have the calendar. All right, that just keeps going through. Oh, that's because it's an error. That's right. All right, so what we find here is, let's see, February 26th, steel mill just keeps pumping poison out. Uh, work with my back being so bad, Arthur is kin. So Otis uh, is related to Arthur, which... I believe what we're going to find out later on, Arthur is um, owns and runs the steel, Grafton Steel, and um, Arthur is kin. So we go to May 7th. Cute Susie Jenkins died horribly with lumps growing inside of her body. So this is letting you know that the kids are starting to uh, have issues and they are, they're dying. So And Otis is relating it to all the bad stuff that Grafton Steel is doing, all the poison they're dumping. Uh, finally did it, secretly, to secretly told the news about what's happening here. Safety rules are ignored and kids are dying. So there he goes. He's still, you know, on that mission, man. On that mission to save people and save kids. Stir up the hornet's nest. There's protesters and reporters, all kind of people camping outside the steelworks now. They're blocking the trucks and such. They're real riled up. All right, so because of his words, 
People were coming to protest. Soldiers came and cleared those folks out and posted guards with guns. Arthur was laughing about it today, talking about those commie whiners getting what's coming to them. I guess I got to try something else to make things right. So it doesn't seem to be going in his direction. I then got fired, booted off the premises, said they knew I was helping the protesters. Guess being kin didn't matter. Arthur didn't even talk to me himself. I guess I had to find another way. So that's what we do not know yet, is what's that other way. Uh, so here's some re correspondences that he had. And this is what the actual Kid Secure br uh, bracelet itself. Uh, but what's interesting here is only an authorized adult that's been added to the account can remove the bracelet. We keep your kids secure. I've attached the override instructions as you requested. So that's key there, authorized adult, because if we go back to, or we go to the uh, dam security, this is another thing that's interesting. Uh, happy to assure you that Grafton Dam is an amazing marvel of technological achievement. We have found that humans make too many mistakes, so other than a remote oversight capability, the Grafton Dam is fully automated. So somehow the Grafton Dam is caught up in all of this and the kin. This is, this is where it gets, gets a little interesting. No, just no, we aren't related, you and I. So this is from Arthur to uh, Otis. Molly was the love of my life, and while she lived, I had to deal with your crap. What were you thinking trying to screw me over with the protesters at the dam? You tried to take advantage of my memory of your sister, the hell with you, so they are brother-in-law, right? Freddie likes you. I can't prevent the kid secure from letting you locate him since Molly trusted you as a guardian. Just go away, Otis. So that's the part that I'm finding kind of interesting is the correspondence from Kid Secure said he's not an authorized adult. However, this is saying, is at least leading you to believe that he is, right? Since Molly trusted you as a guardian. So I guess there might be something to figure out there. I'm not sure, unless it's... Unless it's just that, you know, as a, as a quote-unquote, if she labeled him as a guardian, then um, Freddy can locate, I'm sorry, Otis can locate Freddy, but he can't take the bracelet off. That might be it. And we all know at the water park, Otis did take the bracelet off. But again, when you listen to those, those tapes... In no way does, does it allude to the fact that Freddy knows Otis. So, again, that's also kind of weird. All right, so now we need to... Let's take a look at... All right, let's select that off. Find a way into Grafton Dam. Oh, I searched Otis Pike's house and found out a few interesting things. I think he's got to be the man in the holotape. His terminal had all kinds of clues. I'm going to head to the Grafton Dam. I think that might be where he took the kid. All right, so that's where we're thinking Otis took Freddy. And the Grafton Dam is to the east of us. What are we going to bypass on the way? Ah, uh, the penitentiary and the wardens. <laughs> how do we get it? How do I bypass this? We're going to have to bypass this somehow. Those wardens are just killing me right now. You have no idea how many times um, yeah, off screen I had to clear out this darn wavy Willard's and um, the marshals kept following me in. I don't know what direction it'd be, probably whatever the road is right here. They just kept following me into the park. Oh man, it was hell. All right, so we are heading east and it looks like it's gonna be south of where we were not too long ago, the Pioneer Scamp, um, Scout Camp. So east is, let me, let me do a full, whatever 360 times two would be. <laughs> All right, and we are once again still really low on ammo. Um, part of me take clearing out the Wavy Willards. Willards. For some reason, I. Ah, uh, come on, get it, get it, get it. Oh, I still didn't get it. There we go. For some reason, I struggle saying the word Willards. <laughs> I haven't struggled saying it there. Anywho, um, all the ammo I used to clear that place out a couple of times um, in preparation for the last episode. Well, the last episode, I tried to bum rush it. Um, and then this, this uh, time, I actually did clear it out properly. 
uh, for the most part. And then also trying to bum rush um, Clarksburg <laughs> and a little bit of Grafton, man. It was, uh, we went through a lot of ammo. We went through a lot of ammo. All right, I'm thinking we're going to have to stay on the low ground here. So, and if I, in case I have not said it, which I do not think I have, thank you for clicking on the video. And if you are still watching, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Oh man, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. This, the last episode, and I have a feeling this episode is going to be, it's going to feel a little weird. It's going to be a little embarrassing. <laughs> so kind of we kind of had a mess of this, these last two episodes. And again, I think something glitched out the first time I went to the post office I did not get those two things the memo and then that letter I did not get those so we're back on track though now so I'm feeling confident feeling good and looking forward to see what the story is now this did derail us from the brotherhood story a bit but you know, there was a kid that was kidnapped. We had to, uh, we had to figure this out. All right, where is? We've been along this, I know, because I had to pass this. But oh yeah, we, we did clear that out once already. Did we clear it out, or did we, did we talk to people? I don't remember. I think we cleared it out. Those aren't mannequins, are they? No, you're moving. Uh oh. oh. I thought I heard something, but I think it's just the gurgling. I I think you're moving. Yes, you are. That's not Dino and Carla again, is it? Let's see if we can't cross. Well, I know we can cross right here, but with as few reds as possible. Oh, no, that didn't work out too well. That was not as flat as I thought that might have been. And we are wet with reds. Literally wet with reds. A scientist? Two scientists. This was not here last time. The chromosomal leaps that have happened since the fallout are unprecedented. Fascinating stuff. All right. And, oh, sorry. Anything you had to My say? My work focuses on determining environmental feasibility. The various characteristics of a biome dictate its ability to support life. All right. Uh, anything else? Detecting traces of certain elements informs projections of population equilibrium. Advances in medicine are waiting around every hill. If you're willing to put in the time, you just need to know where to look. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with those two. Uh, we will take the fusion core. Do not need the missiles. Anything here? Nope. Well, all right. Good luck with your science stuff, guys. We are moving on to the Grafton Dam. The damn dam. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I fear I made a horrible mistake. Can we climb back up here somehow? Uh-oh. This might not be, uh, this might not be good. Hello again. Hello. Hello. And goodbye again. All right, let's come back up and around. There we go. I am not a fan of walking through the forest like this. Just always come up across something, man. There's, there's hiding in the trees. So I have a suspicion. 
that in Fallout 4, and I assume it would continue here in 76, obviously we cannot see through the brush. Easy, dude, easy. Oh, no. Why has he got to be erratic? Stick and move, stick and move. Keep that, ah, oh, keep that distance. That didn't work, that didn't work. We're gonna get some, we're gonna get some good eats out of this though. We're gonna have a nice lunch. Well, or, or he's gonna have a nice lunch. Dude, it actually might be him having a nice lunch. I'm out of stim packs. Oh, he's, oh, he's hurt. Oh no, he's not hurt. No, he's not hurt. Whoa. Oh, I feel bad. So when you up a level in score, you get you get health back? Is that what happens? So I have a feeling that's what happened there. And, oh man, hearing that guy, even though he attacked us, nope, no. Nope. Hearing him cry or scream like that was, ah, uh, that was rough. All right. Let's see what we can do about those. We might have seen him last time. But before we approach, let's fix, uh, let's first do right away. Man, I feel like we're going through this right away a lot lately. I mean, we have a lot of it. So it's fine, but we're still going through a lot. Might as well take that. And let's do... Let me see some. Yeah, um, we'll do the Chris. We'll eat these up. There we go. I think we talked to this guy last time. Scores to the ferals don't get you. Rad's will. So many places to explore. What are you doing? There are new places to go. I'm trying to find my way around this land. You know, on my way here, I saw a place you may want to check out. Want to know where it was? Sure. It was right here. Take a look. You never know what you <laughs> might find. We did talk to this guy. Oh, they just tell us where the dam is. Settle down for the rest of the day. Got to keep a lookout for raiders. Uh, we can't talk to him anymore. Oh, so when he said right here, he was actually pointing at the map. I thought he was saying right, like literally, physically, right here. All right, so are we looking at the dam now? What is that? Let's pull up our map. No, we are not looking at the dam. We're looking way in the distance. The dam, we're not even close to the dam. We definitely got sidetracked. We need to be heading south. Yeah, I got sidetracked. Those raiders come snooping around, they're going to regret it. All right. I like your mentality, my friend. I like your mentality. Uh-oh. There's another one. Will this guy help? Can we start something back here? Where he might not be able to get to us question though is where did it go not seeing any movement all right so let's try and avoid it I'm not seeing it yeah it's crazy man in Fallout 4 they uh they never attacked even when you shot them, they never attacked. Uh, but anyways, at, before we came across that rad stag, what I was um, talking about was in Fallout 4, I'm fairly positive that the foliage, although there was not a lot in that game, although you yourself could not see through it, the enemies could see through it and see you. I have a feeling 
that it did not block you from the enemies at all. I'm not being able to confirm that. That's just a feeling. Now, if you know, let me know, because that'd be great to know. Um, and I have a feeling that that has, as I have walked myself into a literal dead end. Oh. Is there an advantage to us going down there? I don't think there is. Other than the meat, and we do not need the meat. Oh, right, look at the top of the world way back there. All right. Looks like we're going to have to go around here to get across. Oh, there's there's an actual... Oh, yeah, duh. This is where the, uh, the camp is. Yeah. So we're probably going to have to clear this out once again. Man, I am doing a lot of backtracking. Uh, we need to be... Oh, there's a tinker's bench around here somewhere. Pretty, I'm pretty sure there is. Oh, no, no. The rats. The pups. Yeah, we need a tinker's bench. So that we can fix th that, uh, that ID. I'm pretty sure there's one here. And we could use some ammo. So this is going to be good. I think I do remember one being here. Now, where it is, I do not recall. Oh, do not want to go in there. Oh, there's a big one. There's a big one in there. There's a big one in there. Let's get uh, loaded. And I think I'm going to drop one of these. I don't think that helped. Nope. It didn't help. It didn't help. Oh, boiled water. Nice. All right, clearly not a tinker's bench in there. We'll take the board game. I remember these. I have a feeling the tinker's bench was, was it in that building? All right, we're able to reloot this again. I already have that note. We do not need that note. We will gladly take that blood pack. All right, I guess the good the good thing about the those red rats is you can hear them. Exhibit A. Now I don't know if they're up. They might be upstairs. Yeah, I think they are. All right, let's do this, guys. Oh, a glowing plague. And we will gladly eat that meat at some point. <laughs> I mean, the idea of rad rat meat in general, but then the fact that it, you add on top of it the fact that it's glowing and plagued. <laughs> 
Yeah, not a good thing. Did we read this note? This one does not sound familiar. Survival, teamwork, research, discovery, and innovation. It's these five principles that the Pioneer Scouts were founded on that reflect the spirit of ex exploration during the founding, exploration, and expansion of the United States. Uh, more than anyone else, we look to the example of two men, Thomas Jefferson and Meriwether Lewis. Together, they created a plan and a team to explore a vast, unknown continent where the fastest thing in the world was a horse. They faced this daunting challenge with courage, methodical planning, and innovation, with methodical planning, innovation, and crew of seasoned veteran and natives. What took them two years, we can do in less than an hour now, but we are only able to do so because of the spirit and innovation embodied in these explorers. Step by step, innovation, overcoming challenge, we built this country together. You represent the next generation of men and women who will push ever upwards towards a future of boundless possibilities. See you on the trail. All right. That's pretty cool. But we still need a tinker's bench. Uh, we might as well cook real quick. I did not realize we had that much food on us. Oh, it's another stove. All right, maybe there's not a tinker's bench here. I thought there was. Oh, you're a legendary. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This could go bad. Oh, we slowed him down, nice. All right, this is not going to be that as bad. Although, if you keep missing. Dude, I just missed. The two previous. <laughs> Bolstering sturdy metal right leg. Let's take a look at that bad boy. Grants up to 35 energy resistance and damage resistance the lower your health. Level 30. We can use it. We're obviously going to take it. What is on our right leg right now? I know I've kind of... Yeah. I have not had time to rename all this stuff. 14-14 gives us nothing. Waste four. 21-4. Oh, that four. Uh, we're getting more ballistic, but that energy damage is a huge drop-off. Huge drop-off. All right, clearly I was wrong and there is not a Tinker's Bench or there is a Tinker's Bench and I am not seeing it. It's one of those two. <laughs> it most likely is that it's there and I'm just not finding it. All right, let's continue our travels. towards Grafton, uh, the dam. Yeah, we need to get to the dam and see what... I remember this. Could this be where... No, let's work our way through. Oh. Oh, no, you, you're a good guy. All right, we're working our way through. Sorry, Jaggy. We are bypassing your scout troop. All right, so what are we approaching here? More Meyer Lurks. More bad textures. Oh, so this is the steel. That has to be the dam over there, right? Yeah, that has to be the... All right, so they're, they're closely related. 
I mean, obviously, in uh, proximity, I should say. Close proximity. That has to be the dam. This is the steel. Do we want to go, again, do we want to come down here for anything? I don't think it's worth it. Grafton steel, that's pretty cool. However, the problem appears. I don't know if I can get up. Oh, we got there. Oh man, that's a big one. Meyer alert, King Claw. And we have mutants up top. Wow, these, these textures still are not loading in correctly. All right. What do we gain by going across there? Let's see. Other than that, we're gonna have to take on. <laughs> we're gonna have some Meyer lurks, that's for sure. I would rather not do that because I want. We're not gonna get any ammo back from them. I would rather face the, the mutants and maybe get some ammo back. So we're gonna have to head north a little bit to get south. All right, and we are going to want to keep our distance till we know what's going on here. Uh, and I do not have that 45 anymore either. Oh, there we go. There's a mutant skirmisher now. Are you alone by any chance? Or alone-ish? Because if you are, we can pull out the old fixer and maybe get the drop on you. Oh, there's a hound. What do I have for throwables? No throwables. Let's just double check that. Might as well get that. Yeah, no throwables. And we could throw down a, a mine or two, knowing that hound's gonna come after us. Is the hound still over in that area? I think he might be, I'm hoping. Oh, we're barely tickling this guy. Oh, here comes the hound. He completely bypassed. Completely bypassed. Oh, was that one of our mines? That's two of our mines. What kind of damage did, those, did that do? Where's he at? Where is he at? Should be in this general area. This is where the mines were. Are you stuck behind a tree? No. 